the fore and aft parts of the ship are not to be taken for granted, as they are the critical zones subjected to local loads such as panting, pounding, green water, wave slaps, whipping, propeller-induced vibrations, just to name a few. Most of these loads are incident on the forepart, but the construction of the aft part is also equally important. Despite the multitude of stresses localized in this region, most of its structural arrangements have been kept in line with the chief problems of panting and pounding as these are the two most grave problems encountered in this case, proving to be the causal factors for most of the ship's structural failures. The important segments comprising fore-end construction and strengthening of ship structure are, the four-peak tank, the stem, chain lockers, and stiffening in the form of frames, breast hooks, wash plates, deep radius floors, pillars, panting stringers, panting beams, variety of stringers and girders. Four-peak tank, as the name suggests, forms the foremost watertight tank principally used for ballasting but also serves other purposes. The fore peak is some of the chief stiffening components including panting beams, panting stringers, angle pillars, breast hooks, perforated flats and centerline wash bulkhead. The stem is the most forward part of a boat or ship's bow and is an extension of the keel itself. A perforated bulkhead fitted into a cargo or ballast tank to reduce the sloshing or the movement of liquid through the tank. If a stiffener is required to be welded in horizontal direction, it will be called stringer. One of the location where stringer is mostly used is the forward part of the ship. Bow of the ship has to bear lots of stress and so requires extra strengthening. Horizontal beams are used to support the stringer to counter these stresses of painting. The forward bulkhead is called the collision bulkhead and is meant to be a second barrier in a collision resulting in bow plate rupture and water ingress to the full repeak area. The regulations require that the bulkhead is watertight from the bottom of the ship, up to the upper deck. A steel plate of 2 mm thickness can be easily bent. If you lift this plate with the crane from its ends, it will most likely bend at the center. One solution is to weld two of more flat bars either in fore and aft direction or athwartship direction onto the steel plate. In this case these flat bars will be called stiffeners. Anything that is used solely to provide strength to a ship structure can be called a stiffener. A stiffener welded in longitudinal direction is called a longitudinal stiffener. Same way a stiffener is welded in transverse direction is simply called a transverse stiffen. Bulkheads reduce the extent of seawater flooding in case of damage and provide additional stiffness to the hull girder. They can be flat or corrugated, 